Hey, come look and see what we just put in. We have a window. Now we can actually see out our door. And I'll show you how we did it. We are right in the middle of installing a new thin shade window for our RV door. We, I didn't think about recording until after I already pulled this the window out, but uh, ours is the kind, we have a grand design, ours is the kind without screws on it, so I was always concerned, I haven't seen any videos where the frame didn't have screws on how to get that out. And really all you end up doing is you have these clips that go from the inside of the door to the outside of the frame. And I just used butter knives, or we did, um, and kind of got in there and pried, and then we just had to um, stick something in between to keep the clips from reconnecting. And then it, it came right out. It's actually pretty easy. What, how long do you think we've been working on it? Maybe it took us less ten, than 10, ten minutes. 10 minutes or less. Yeah. Um, and uh, so that was it on that. And anyhow, we'll go on and put the window in right now. It's starting to get dark too, so that's not good. <clears throat> that's what it looks like right now. And if you and ever wondered, the inside of the, your door is just made out of styrofoam. Yeah. You kind of see where I bent it up, trying to get those clips open. Um, but yeah, that's uh, just a styrofoam door. So um, we'll get the uh, window, I'll get the camera set up somehow, where hopefully you can see. So the directions are a little cryptic, but we figured them out so anybody can. Um, okay, installing. Install the outer frame first, and this is how frame the window that we got was already stuck with sealant onto this frame, and it's on there really good. And it looks like, can you hold this for a second? Mm -hmm. it looks like there's sealant already here that's, once we tighten it down, should smash out and do pretty much the same thing that the other sealant did on the old window. So, um, it's gonna have screws where we had clips, but these screws actually go inside the hole and then just this outside will go around the opening and hopefully that'll fit. So that's what we're gonna try next. Um, so <laughs> make sure it fits. Well, I need to get up there first. I need to get the other frame. So the and screwdriver and all that unless because otherwise you have to take it back out so whoops well, here's the other frame it actually oh, that shade will fall out. Oh, oh that's right we had to put the shade in which wasn't difficult people were saying on uh, amazon reviews it was really difficult it may be once we get to putting it in it may want to fall out so, but uh, otherwise you can see the shade right there and then the other part there and it just slides on these just like uh, the normal RV accordion shades. So let me get a screwdriver. Okay, it did come with screws and they are Phillips heads. This is actually so far easier as long as that fits, it should be fine. Hopefully that screwdriver will fit. The shade part goes, you want that on the top, right? Yeah. Okay. So the end with the shade, I guess some people I read uh, actually put the, sh ouch, the shade part on the bottom so that they can open it from the bottom up. And we should have took off our screen door probably. Don't push too hard on, don't push on the glass at all. You see that fit really snug. Again, we have a Grand Design Reflections 28BH. Uh, is the model 2018, is that right? Yeah. And uh, this window fit perfectly. By the way, we got this window from Amazon. Came, I don't know, we, we have Amazon Prime, so it took two or three days to get here. Um, actually, we bought it. It was kind of pretty expensive compared to what when we first looked at it. Hang on to that good. Um, 
it was uh, 92 dollars I think but it when I first looked at it it was the 80 and that was like a few weeks ago maybe a month so I'm just putting screws in uh, hopefully everything's lined up oh this is out though <laughs> not a lot of room good thing we have these extra steps that we bought um, it gives us a platform to work on if you just have the regular RV steps I don't know if you see down there. Uh, it's gonna be a little you probably need a step ladder if you have help or two ladders yeah get this corner up here so sorry guys if this isn't recording exactly and I'm sorry I forgot to do it from the very beginning nice slides pretty nice so far now we gotta wait till tomorrow though to see how much light it brings in it's tempered glass just like the rest of the RV windows so it matches colors match for our model exactly the frames are exactly the same it's almost like it was built for our grand design yeah I could see where this could be a problem if it's only one person doing it you would have to tape it tape it up and be very careful I could get it together and the whole door fall off. <laughs> That'd be my luck. <laughs> okay, I gotta go get more screws. Yes, yeah, you can let loose. Because if you can't, then it, it is gonna fall. Oh, the awning's leaking too. So I uh, we have our LED lights that run along our awning up there. And so I open the you gotta open the awning, otherwise it doesn't help it since it's getting dark. Um, the lights helping. So I haven't tightened all of these down at all. Any of these down, I should say. So, like I've mentioned in other videos, we're trying to, well, we already live full time in our fifth wheel. And, uh, we're trying to get everything ready for when we do get the opportunity to start traveling full time and working from the road. Um, so, like I mentioned in another video, I've installed a CB to help us communicate with other traffic and find out what conditions are in, in our truck. And you can watch that video. I'll put a link. Um, We've completely remodeled Rebecca's bedroom bunkhouse, which I'll put that link here too so you can see that. And we still gotta get new tires. Um, we haven't had any trouble with ours, but we haven't towed it that much. But everybody says West Lakes are terrible. So, um, planning on getting some. 14 ply tires at least before we start towing what else have we done uh, i don't know but we still need to we want to paint lighter oh, yeah. colors and yeah we're going to redo the whole interior to get it more looking like home instead of a camping trailer so we painted rebecca's uh off-white and made it trim. If you see that video, you'll see what we did. And, um, so on the inside of our trailer too, we'll probably do the same color on the walls. Still some other things I want to do. I want to get a backup camera or a 
whatever they're called for driving just to make it easier passing or switching lanes it's what I'm nervous about would eventually like to get a new uh, fifth wheel hitch we have a Reese 16k fifth wheel hitch um, which has been fine but I, I just want to get one that's like an Anderson, people say are really good. We could have got a companion, which I should have, but I didn't know what I was doing when I bought it. So, yeah, if you have hitch recommendations, you can put that in the comments. Well, this was actually really easy. Yeah. I'm excited. And this is just too easy, I got it. <laughs> it's so funny how people say, it was hard to do, but again, by yourself. And especially if you were on a step ladder or something. Yeah, I, I guess I could see that. I guess for our situation, it was really simple. I mean, two of us. Plus, it was a lot more was pre-built than what it sounded like. I mean, the window was installed onto the frame where it sounded like some of them aren't. And the uh, sealant. Did was you, already put on. Did you do a review on our steps? No. I don't think so. No, I didn't. I guess that's it. I would like to put some uh, caulk on the outside, the clear um, silicone, uh -huh. just to stop water from getting in. I think that's about it. I'm just going to finish up in the corner. Installation-wise, I'd say that on a scale of one being easy, can be in super hard it's about a well with two of us and our steps it was about a three or a four so and now if I went to do it again for somebody else I'd say it was a one even with a ladder just because now that I know what I'm doing so for the window how's that look on the outside well here let's do the shade the shade hopefully let's see if it's gonna yeah so it's nice and tight um, so that goes down like that. It's a blackout shade, so yeah. hopefully. So, can, yeah. It's a little tight because I have the, I think it'll loosen up, loosens up up here. But I have those screws put down pretty good. You can see the clips right here that hold in the shade, um, the base, and then there's some like that up in here at the top. Let's see what it looks like on the outside. So it matches everything else. Looks like it was made for it. That's cool. This is what it looks like. Shut. Nice and bright. And again, we can see out. And another nice thing. I can actually open the awning without having to open the door now. What? So we got that installed. How long do you think it took us? Um, 20 minutes, half 20, an hour? Yeah, maybe a half hour total um, from the time we took it out of the box to get it in the door. Well, shot <laughs> right in the ear. <laughs> um, getting the old window unclipped was the hardest, probably. Yeah. If you have the, if you have the screw in kind um, with the screws, it'll take you like five minutes, where it took us about 15. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions about these windows, give us a comment down below and uh, we'll get back to you.